Hey there! OpenAI has released a new feature for ChatGPT called ChatGPT Search. Let's take it for a spin. So let's try their example of uh, I'm planning a trip trip to the Amalfi Coast. Uh, any recommendations? So this is what we would get with regular uh, ChatGPT without the search. Uh, so I might just stop this. Oh, I'll let it play out. Uh, you know, which is which is good. But if we then enable search mode and try the same phrase, you can see now we've got a slightly different UI. You know, it brings in images. And for all of the references, you can see um, where it's actually gotten the content from. So, you know, this recommendation was from Lonely Planet and, um, you know, you can actually go to the site uh, and see, you know, when it was last updated. And if we then go over to the right, um, it should be able to, yes, if we click on sources, you can see the citations here all in a nice list here. So you can kind of browse through and see where it got all the context from, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it's not just that, they've also added integrations with uh, stuff like weather. So let's say, what's the weather going to be like in Positano on Friday. And then I'll just submit that. I've got a ah, there we go. A little bit of lag. So it automatically calculates what next Friday is going to be and then goes off to where is this? Amalfi.com weather to get the weather um, specifically for Positano, which I think is quite cool because uh, you know you can look at weather apps uh, separately, but uh, to bring it all into the the experience, you know, calculate the dates, uh, get the weather closest to the location that you're actually going. It actually reminds me of um, an article by Ink and Switch. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, Ink and Switch, they're a research lab that are doing some really interesting stuff, uh, including you know local first uh, database stuff. But they uh, did this study uh, called Embark, where they talked about dynamic documents for making plans, and they're kind of proposing you know what we're seeing a little bit more with. ChatGPT and these AI agents that bring content in and, uh, you know, natural language is your, is your base. And then, you know, you bring in things that would traditionally be in apps separately to that. So you can see here, uh, you know, they might get uh, directions, transit here. Um, they've got dates uh, and yeah weather kind of in line in the note uh, that brings it all together. So um, I highly recommend checking out this, this article. It's a bit of a bit of a read, but um, a really interesting um, exploration of, you know, the, the limitations of our current app centric world where, you know, everything you have to go into siloed apps. So, uh, you know, these chat GPT integrations, very much are kind of similar to what they're proposing where you actually bring all this information into the one experience uh, so you know your app becomes a weather integration for um for chat gpt but it's not just weather uh, we can look at stock prices so how has nvidia performed this year And 
you can see our citations update here on the right. Uh, so, you know, as of November the 4th, stock has surged approximately 170%. Uh, so that's quoting an, an article by Barron's. Uh, and if we say, uh, show me the NVIDIA price this year. Oh, we get a we get a table here. I'm trying to get it to bring up the graph uh, because I've gotten this before. Um, what's uh, show me the stock price for Nvidia? Um, interesting. Show me a graph for NVIDIA. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this is interesting. I can't seem to get it to bring up the dynamic UI that I saw before, but you know, it's it's referencing articles that are current and showing showing that. What's the NVIDIA price today? right now hundred and thirty four per share on the first of November the stock market is currently closed so video price hundred and thirty five thirty seven all right that seems mostly accurate If we look at the actual ChatGPT search article, I wonder if I think NV we can see what prompt they used to actually get the um, stock price. Huh, interesting. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, uh, we can also do latest news, uh, so election 2024. And uh, you know, we can see the current polling and that's really useful because we can see, you know, uh, it's up to date 13th, 3rd of November and a whole bunch of articles here that we can click on to to go and actually um, see and they've got a little disclaimer here and sport what's going on in car racing let's try something very vague yeah nice we get a, a little um, little summary here and a bunch of articles there that's a kind of cool way to curate your news hey you know i might try that that in the morning you know what's what's new in the world of tech or you know what's new in the world of personal finance apps uh, you know you can search yeah i guess it's like google search but in a different different format and you can also check out maps so uh, you know where are some good places to eat in Positano so you can get some nice dining recommendations and look at this displays them nicely on a map here we can look at the sources if we want so rosetta stone blog all sorts of sources here and then we can see where they are on the map so if we want to go right up the hill here we can go to la tagliata but it's pretty steep so we might actually want to go to la sponda or Sheblak, you know close down near the beach so that's a really 
useful tool for going on vacation. I'm definitely going to try that next time I'm on a break. So yeah, that's a quick little rundown of what they've got so far. I think this is a nice improvement, uh, you know, just making the chat experience a lot more uh, rich and uh, yeah, let me know how you go.